I've been playing the violin for 11 years. My playing has definitely evolved with being around an environment such as EMF with great students. I attended EMF two years ago when I was 16, and the second week we played a hard program, a rock one and off symphony number no. two, and I was scared out of my wits. But um, I really enjoyed it. It was really a growing experience, and it just opened my eyes to you know, what was out there and how beautiful music could just really be. Coming back to my senior year of high school after attending EMF, everyone was just amazed, like, oh my gosh, look at how much you know, progress you've made. The teachers here are inspiring. They truly care about you and your growth as a musician, and I, I just love it here. <laughs> I've been music director, this is, my, this is my end of my seventh year. We've continued with the same premise, the same idea that Shirley Morganson started 53 years ago. You have great professionals to make up a fantastic professional orchestra and two student orchestras. So in the end, the ratio between faculty and students is three to one. Every member of the orchestra has two or three students and the students get personalized care that's unbelievable. We have concerts every night of the week, we have lots of chamber music, we have special events, an old Vivaldi program, a, a big French program where we're doing the Fari Requiem, uh, and we've spread it out. It used to all take place on the Guilford College campus, which we love. But now we're at UNCG, at their beautiful recital hall, we're at Christ Church, we're at Temple, we do a concert on High Point, we're all over. We're, we're trying to be a regional festival, even though our home is here at Guilford. And if you came from out of town, Monday and Tuesday, chamber music, Wednesday, special events, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, orchestra concerts, Sunday, chamber music, solo piano, then there's student concerts throughout. I mean, it's really a thrilling place to be, and it's an exciting place to, to make music. We have, clearly, some of the greatest soloists in the world. I mean, there's no question. Uh, James Ennis, one of the greatest violinists appearing before the public today. If you look at someone like Lynn Harrell, Lynn Harrell is one of the greatest living cellists. He chose to spend a week with us. We have great faculty members, and they really choose to come here. They, they love the atmosphere, and everybody, we're all doing it together, and we're always tossing around ideas, thinking of ways to make it better, thinking of ways to be better teachers. I go to people's classes, and I listen to what they say. You know, we're all learning all the time. It's just an extraordinary atmosphere. Everybody cares about one thing. It's making music and making friends and servicing this great triad region with, with great concerts. The best thing to do if you've never been is come to something that's free and see what it's like and get acclimated with coming to the campus here at Guilford, see where everything is, and you'll find your way. And for everyone, just come over here to Guilford College, you'll be shocked at what, what you can find and see and, and enjoy.